Hey, you know, about uh, four years ago, I bought this Maverick 88 shotgun made by Mossberg. Four years ago when I bought it, I did a, a video review on it. And then one year later, I did another review, a, a one-year update. And today, I'm going to do a four-year update. Why? Well, because I really like this shotgun, guys, and I'm going to show you why I like it. I'm going to show you why I recommend it. Just really, really a good shotgun for the money. You know, you can get these for around 200 bucks or so. You know, right now there's there's a good handful of shotguns you can get for 200 bucks. I've shot some of those, and for me, this is the best one right here. So let's take a quick look at it, and then we're going to shoot it. This is the security model. As you can see, it has the uh, synthetic stock and forearm. This one has a 20-inch barrel on it. Now you can get this with an 18 and a half inch barrel. But why I like the 20? Because I can put seven rounds in the magazine. Seven rounds in the magazine, one in the chamber, that's seven plus one. Now on the 18 and a half inch barrel, it's only a five plus one. So for an extra inch and a half uh, long barrel, I'll pick up two extra rounds. So again, this is the security model. As you can see, I added a Mossberg heat shield on this. This did not come with the heat shield. And another accessory I added was this side saddle that holds four rounds. Now on a heat shield, there's some aftermarket heat shields. Some of them are made out of plastic. Most of them that I've seen don't get good reviews. So if you're gonna get a heat shield, get one made by Mossberg. You can get them on eBay for about 40 bucks or so. Well worth the investment. To install one of these though, you have to take off the front bead, so you may have to take it to a gunsmith, or hopefully you can do it yourself. So, one last thing I do want to mention though, if you have a shotgun and you're kind of not real experienced, I'll tell you what, when you work this action, work it hard, okay? Don't baby it. Because if you baby it, your round's going to hang up. Work this son of a gun like this. You're not going to hurt it. It's going to operate 100%. So, uh, again, I'm going to shut up and do some shooting. I've got a can of non-fat dry milk here I'm going to shoot. Now before I shoot it, let me show you something. It says here not for sale. It also has a date on it, 6-10-99. And it also says to use it within three years of that date. So it is definitely expired. So I'm going to shoot it, but I'm going to tape one of these white lightning exploding targets on it. This is made for 22 rim fire, but the uh, shotgun should detonate it. So why am I going to do that? Just for the fun of it. All right, let's get set up. Okay, I've got my can set up. I'm going to shoot it with number four bird shot and see if we can get that thing to blow up. And I'm also going to send up my drone and get a bird's eye view of this too. So let's see what happens. Here we go. Whew. 
Okay, here we go. This shotgun has a three inch chamber. Now that means there's a big variety of shells I can put through this. I can shoot mini shells, which I don't have any right now. I can shoot your standard two and three quarter inch shells and I can shoot three inch magnum shells through this shotgun. So just a, a big variety of shells. So we're gonna shoot some of those. I'm gonna shoot some bird shot, buck shot, slugs, and then I'll finish off with a, a three inch magnum. But let's start off with shooting this nice light target load. Now you would use this for clay pigeons and small game hunting. And no, I'm not going to shoot the truck. Alright, let's try something else. Okay, next I'm going to shoot a standard load of uh, double odd buckshot. Two and three quarter inch, double odd, has nine pellets in it. You would use this for self-defense and large game. And I'm gonna shoot right above uh, the roof of that truck in the background there. Okay, now this is where it starts getting fun. Next, I'm gonna shoot a one ounce slug. Now these things pack a hell of a wallop. Now I've got two jugs of water sitting on top of this old truck. And I got my GoPro set up at 240 frames per second, so let's see what happens. Whoa. Pretty awesome. I love shooting slugs. In fact, I like it so much I'm going to shoot another one right here. I got a good sized rock sitting on top of that truck. Now I did move back a little bit. Got my GoPro set up. Let's see what happens. Okay, my last round. Three inch magnum. This is double odd buckshot. There's 15 pellets in here. Each one is 33 caliber. 33 times 15, that's a whole lot of caliber. And that whole lot of caliber has got a little kick to it. I'm going to shoot one more of these uh, three inch magnum buck shots. I'm going to I'm going to shoot across this ravine over in that uh, smooth uh, sand over there about a hundred yards away just for the heck of it see what happens. Yeah that still would have hurt. And yes, guys, I always pick up my trash. Hey guys, I want to hang it up. I know I didn't shoot a lot of rounds today, but I'll put the link to my other two videos on this shotgun at the very end of this uh, video. So check those out if you would. But if you're in the market for a good $200 shotgun, 
check out the Maverick 88. I can't say enough good things about this shotgun. Anyways, thanks for watching my video. We'll see you next time.